क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ए बी सी डी इज अ साइक्लिक क्वार्टुलेटर हुज डायगोनल्स ए सी एंड बी डी इंटरसेक्ट एट पॉइंट ई इफ एंगल डी बी सी इज सेवेंटी डिग्री इफ एंगल बी ए सी इज थर्टी डिग्री फाइंड एंगल बी सी डी फर्दर इफ ए बी इक्वल्स टू बी सी फाइंड एंगल ई सी डी नाउ ह्यो वी आर गिवन अ साइक्लिक क्वाड्रिलेटर वट इज अ साइक्लिक क्वाड्रिलेटर a quadrilateral is said to be cyclic if all four vertices of it lie on a circle so a b c d all four vertices of this quadrilateral a b c d lie on the circle that is why a b c d is a cyclic quadrilateral the diagonals a c and b d intersect at point e now look at angles BAC this angle BAC and angle BDC this angle what will be about this two angles we have learned a theorem that angles in the same segment of a circle are equal here we can see that angles BAC and angle BDC are in the same segment that is why they will be same so we will write angles in the same segment of a circle are equal and that are angle bac is equal to angle bdc here we have value of angle bac that is 30 degree therefore angle b dc is equal to 30 degree so here this angle we got as 30 degree now let us refer to triangle b c d in this triangle b c d we have value of angle b d c as 30 we have value of angle d b c as 70 can we get value of angle bcd this angle of course yes how by applying angle sum property of a triangle let's write in triangle bcd sum of all angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree let us write what are the angles angle bcd plus angle d B C plus angle C D B is equal to one eighty degree. Angle B C D we have to find. So we will write angle B C D plus value of angle D B C is given in the question as seventy degree. So this is seventy degree plus angle. C D B or angle B D C. Just now we have got it as thirty degree is equal to one hundred eighty degree. Let us refer to figure here in the triangle angle B C D. We have to find so we have written angle B C D and angle. D B C is given as seventy, so we have written seventy. Now angle C D B we got as thirty degree. So B D C or C D B both are same only, right? So here we have written thirty degree is equal to one hundred eighty degree. The next step will be angle B C D plus seventy plus thirty. A one hundred is equal to one hundred eighty degree. Therefore, angle B C D is equal to one hundred eighty degree. This hundred will go on right hand side. It becomes minus hundred degree. One eighty minus hundred gives us eighty degree. So angle B C D is equal to eighty degree. 
this whole angle BCD we have as 80 degree. Now let us refer triangle ABC. In the question it is given that AB is equal to BC. Now students we know that if two sides are equal, their opposite angles are equal. We have learned a theorem that angles opposite to equal sides of a triangle are equal. So, if we refer triangle ABC, we have AB equals to BC. Therefore, their opposite angles will be equal. Side AB, which is the angle opposite to side AB? It is which angle? C which means angle BCA, correct? Okay, if we refer side BC, which is the angle opposite to side BT, BC is it A, that means angle BAC. So, we will get angle BAC equals to angle BCA. First of all, let us write it. In triangle ABC, AB equals to BC given angles opposite to equal sides are equal. Opposite angle to side AB is which angle? Angle BCA. Opposite angle to side BC is which angle? It is angle BAC. Value of angle BAC is already given. It is 30 degree. Therefore, this angle BCA will be what? 30 degree. Angle BAC is equal to 30 degree. It is given. Therefore, angle BCA will also be 30 degree. Now, see in the figure, this angle BCA, this we got as 30 degree. Now, students, we have got value of this whole angle BCD as 80 degree. This whole is 80 degree and this angle BCA, this much portion is 30 degree. This much portion is 30 degree. Whole is 80 degree and this much is 30 degree. If we want to find angle ECD, what it will be? As we can see that Angle B, C, D is addition of two angles. Which are the two angles? Angle B, C, A plus angle B, C, D. Again, I am saying, please refer it carefully. Angle B, C, D is addition of two angles and that are B, C, A plus E, C, D. We have value of whole angle B, C, D and we have value of angle B, C, A. So, we will get angle B, C, D. So, here we are writing now angle B, C, D is equal to angle B, C, A plus angle E, C, D. We have value of angle B, C, D as 80 degree is equal to angle B, C, A is what? 30 degree plus angle ECD. If we want to find angle ECD, then this 30, we have to move on left hand side. Here it is plus. When it goes on left hand side, it becomes minus. So, 80 degree minus 30 degree. Therefore, angle ECD is equal to 80 minus 30 is equal to 50 degree. And in the question, we were asked to find value of angle ECD, which we got as 50 degree. So, this is question number 6.